Tesla shares have experienced an impressive eight-day winning streak, pushing the world's most valuable automaker into positive territory for the first time this year. Closing up 2.1% on Friday, Tesla marked its longest stretch of consecutive daily gains in nearly a year. Over this period, the stock surged by 38% adding to $20 billion in market cap. Is Tesla about to make its biggest leap in AI technology yet? With groundbreaking innovations on the horizon, is it game over for their competition? In this video, we'll dive deep into Tesla's latest advancements, from their Dojo supercomputer to vision-based driving tech. We'll explore how these innovations are set to redefine autonomous driving and push Tesla stock to new heights in Q4. You'll hear exclusive insights from Elon Musk, industry experts, and a comparison between Tesla and its competitors, including why Tesla's tech is pulling ahead faster than anyone anticipated. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to stay ahead with the latest Tesla stock news and updates. We have the, you know, two, those two projects at Tesla. We've got Dojo, which is the, the training computer, uh, and then um, you know our inference chip, which is in every every car inference computer. Um, so. And, and, and Dojo, we've only had Dojo 1. Dojo 2 is, um, you know, should be, we should have Dojo 2 in volume towards the end of next year. Um, and and that, that, that will be, we, we think, sort of co comparable to uh, the, sort of a B200 type, type system, a training system. Um, and, um, you know, so there's, I guess there's some potential for, for that to be used as a service. Um, uh, but, but, but like, you know, the, the Dojo is, is is just kind of like I mean we're we're, we're I guess I, I guess I have like some improved confidence in Dojo, um, but I think we, we won't really know how good Dojo is until probably version three. Like it usually takes three major iterations on a technology for it to be to be excellent, mm -hmm. um, and we'll only have the second major iteration next year. What Elon is describing here is nothing short of revolutionary. Dojo isn't just another supercomputer, it's specifically engineered to tackle the immense complexity of real-time autonomous driving. Imagine processing data from multiple high-definition cameras, compressing gigabytes of information from various angles in real-time, and then making split-second decisions that control a vehicle's every move. That's exactly what Dojo is built for. The kicker here is Tesla's custom-designed AI chips which outperform anything available from suppliers. These chips are laser focused on Tesla's unique needs, optimized for image processing, video data, and the kind of complex neural networks that power full self-driving. It's like building a computer that perfectly fits the problem rather than trying to make off-the-shelf components work. With Dojo and these AI chips, Tesla is positioning itself miles ahead of companies like Nvidia who dominate general purpose AI. But Dojo is purpose-built for automotive applications and that edge could be what propels Tesla into a future where their autonomous driving technology becomes the gold standard. And as Elon said, this is just the beginning. Version two of Dojo is already on the horizon, and by 2026, we could see Dojo 3 revolutionize not just Tesla, but AI in general. So you might be familiar that there are uh, at least two sensors uh, in the car. One is vision, cameras, just getting pixels, and the other is LiDAR that a lot of uh, that a lot of uh, companies also use. And LiDAR gives you these point measurements of distance around you. Um, now, one, one thing I'd like to point out, first of all, is you all came here, you drove here, many of you, and you used your, <laughs> your uh, neural net and vision. You were not shooting lasers out of your eyes, and you still <laughs> ended up here. We might have. <laughs> so I mean, things went well. That's good for everyone. <laughs> So clearly, the human neural net uh, derives distance and all the measurements and the 3D understanding of the world just from vision. They're all going to dump LiDAR, that's my prediction. Mark my words. Um, I should point out that I don't actually super hate LiDAR as much as it may sound. Um, but at SpaceX, uh, SpaceX Dragon uses LiDAR to navigate to the space station and dock. Not only that, we, the, SpaceX developed its own LiDAR from scratch to do that. And I spearheaded that effort personally. Because in that scenario, LiDAR makes sense. And in cars, it's friggin' stupid. It's expensive and unnecessary. And as Andre was saying, once you solve vision, it, it's worthless. So you have expensive hardware that's worthless on the car. This is a pivotal moment in autonomous driving technology. 
Tesla's decision to move away from LiDAR and fully embrace a vision-based system is not just about reducing costs, though that's a huge benefit. It's about solving the problem of self-driving with pure software. LiDAR, while accurate, is expensive and complex. It works by bouncing lasers off objects to detect their distance, but it has limitations when it comes to reading road signs, interpreting traffic signals, or even understanding complex urban environments. What Tesla is doing instead is relying entirely on a camera-based system, which mimics how humans drive, by seeing and interpreting the world visually. Cameras are far more affordable, and when paired with Tesla's advanced AI software, they provide a complete solution that can see the road in a way that's not only more practical, but more scalable. The software is the secret sauce here. It takes visual data from the cameras and processes it using Tesla's custom AI, allowing the system to make real-time decisions about what's happening around the vehicle. Elon has been vocal about his belief that LiDAR is a fool's errand, and now with the progress we're seeing in full self-driving, it's clear why. Tesla's AI-driven vision system is continuously learning, improving, and adapting, all without the high costs and limitations of LiDAR. It's a strategy that puts Tesla light years ahead of competitors who are still relying on this outdated technology, and the results are undeniable. The better Tesla's software gets, the more LiDAR becomes obsolete in the race for fully autonomous driving. LiDAR. What we're going to explain to you today is that LiDAR is, is a fool's errand, and, any, and anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. <laughs> doomed. Expensive, expensive sensors that are, are unnecessary. It's like having a whole bunch of expensive appendices. Like one appendix is bad, well, now we're gonna put a whole bunch of them. That's ridiculous. And then uh, he replied to that news uh, yesterday. He said that, <laughs> you know, it make, LiDAR looks smart if you think about fuel cells and hydrogen combustor cars as well. So these are things that the uh, OEMs are doing, fuel cells, hydrogen, LiDAR, and he's saying these are all wrong, and then he's going to be proven correct. And so far, it's looking like he's correct. Yeah, I just think it's funny that this is still a conversation. I mean, so the thing that made this blatantly obvious back when he started to make these predictions is that, you know, you have to have vision. You can't drive the car without vision because there's a lot of things that LiDAR just doesn't give you. You know, it doesn't give you um, what your road signs say. It gives you locations of objects, but then any contextual data that's beyond that, it doesn't provide. Uh, so, you know, can't read the lines on the road, for instance. And so you have to have vision in order to drive. It's just um, impossible not to do it without that. This is where Tesla's long-term strategy really starts to disrupt entire industries. Frida Dewan is pointing out a crucial fact. Tesla's hardware cost advantage over competitors like WHMO is not just significant, it's potentially revolutionary. WHMO and other companies are still relying on expensive sensor suites like LiDAR, which adds huge costs to their vehicles. Meanwhile, Tesla's vision-based approach, driven by AI and custom hardware, is far more cost-effective. This allows Tesla to produce autonomous vehicles at a much lower cost. Now imagine the impact this could have on the ride-sharing market. Uber and Lyft currently rely on human drivers, which is their biggest operational cost. But Tesla's robotaxis running on full self-driving technology can eliminate that expense entirely. Tesla could offer rides at a fraction of the current cost, undercutting both Uber and Lyft in price while still turning a significant profit. That's a game changer for the entire ride hailing industry. And we're not just talking about theoretical savings. If Tesla can scale this technology, we're looking at a future where self-driving robotaxis dominate urban transportation. Picture fleets of Tesla vehicles operating 24 seven without the need for a driver, providing cheaper and more efficient rides. This could completely transform how we think about mobility, pushing Tesla ahead, not only in the EV space, but in ride sharing and autonomous transport as well. The key, Tesla's ability to innovate and drive down hardware costs faster than anyone else. So there you have it. Tesla is making some major moves that could redefine the future of both AI and transportation. From Elon Musk's groundbreaking updates on the Dojo supercomputer, to Tesla's bold decision to go all in on vision-based driving and leave lighter in the dust, it's clear that Tesla is positioning itself far ahead of the competition. Now, what do you think? Will Tesla's Dojo 2 really revolutionize the world of AI? Is Elon right to ditch LiDAR completely for a vision-only approach? And how soon do you think we'll see Tesla robo-taxis on the road? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.
If you found this video helpful and want to stay up to date with the latest Tesla news and stock updates, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Tesla Stock News. We've got a lot more exciting content coming your way, so stay tuned.